Welcome. Nope. And hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Q&A Thursdays with Keith and Jeffrey. We're here with Keith and Jeffrey. So welcome, everybody. Good to have you here. We're excited. We are actually on location. We're live um, on Deer Creek Reservoir, which is kind of uh, nearby. It's one of our closest reservoirs. It's a really, really beautiful place. Um, we're here uh, kind of on a little adventure trying to find a nice little honey hole. Uh, We've not been that successful so far. No, unfortunately, I think it was a little shallower than we uh, we wanted and quite a few rocks. A lot of rocks, very, very rocky. Um, but we've still got a few tricks up our sleeves that we might find here in a little bit. But uh, for right now, we're just gonna get this live out of the way because I know you're all just waiting with bated breath. I, I'm just sure of it. <laughs> they wait all week, two weeks, they two wait weeks. for us to come back on. But here we are, so as usual, uh, send us your questions and we'll try and answer those as they come in. Um, in the meantime though, Amber, kind of maybe pan around and uh, show them where we are. Oh, isn't that, isn't that pretty? We like it out here. Right over here, you, you've got um, Logan and Josh. Uh, Logan's kind of been our guide today, kind of showing us where to go. He kind of picked the spot, so it's his fault that uh, we didn't find anything. So we can just blame it all on him. Saw a lot of geese. We have seen a lot of geese. Makes you want to get ready for duck season and a little bit of goose shooting. Absolutely. I mean, there have been a lot coming in all morning. We've seen a whole bunch. I'm just sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to pull this up so I can get your questions here. I haven't seen it come in yet. Oh, here we go. Okay. So I've got us. So like we said, um, continue on with your questions. Uh, Keith, what's been happening in the last couple of weeks? We've been off for, what, uh, two? Two weeks, yeah, it was two weeks ago when we were back out here with uh, Glade and his yeah. buddy doing some spear fishing, which was kind of cool right. to watch, shooting them ugly old <laughs> They had a couple carp. of big old carp. No, that's true. Uh, we were with Glade and from BPS, and they brought out their their uh, spear guns and scuba gear, full on and... tanks and gear and stuff. You've probably seen some of the pictures that we posted, but um, we tried to do a live and we were just kind of backing around the mountain and there's no service over there. So we didn't get a chance to do an actual live. So. But here we have a little surf, a little closer to town on this trip. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And you can see up in where we were trying to get was there's a, a river that feeds out of it right out right out in there and it's it's pretty shallow. It's pretty low right now, so we couldn't get up there. I mean it was it's just rocks. There's no mud, it's just rocks. So part of the prop. We thought we'd maybe save the props today and uh, and uh, you know. Even though we get a good deal on them, it's still, <laughs> know, still it's a little still, pricey. Yeah, <laughs> somebody's paying. For yeah, it. so we've just been kind of fishing this, these uh, just kind of shallower waters. We're probably only a few feet deep, probably out here. Ah, uh, maybe a little more now that we floated out here, but haven't had much luck. It's a little bit later in the day to be doing that. Um, so talk about Keith while we're here. Um, kind of what's been <laughs> what's been going on with the 40s and the 50s. Uh, selling like hotcakes I mean yeah it's just unbelievable I was talking to our shop manager Ian yesterday and <laughs> it's uh, amazing to see the stress on his face it's fun what, for, yeah. for us in, in the sales and the marketing side that's just, it's just happiest to happiest we get to see the guys in the shop uh, I walked around a little bit this morning there was about <laughs> oh I would say 20 25 motors sitting on the floor with uh, eight more ready to start yeah. today so uh, business is booming at Mud Buddy business I mean, the 40s are flying booming. out the door uh, the 50s are doing really, really well. So yeah. um, if you want to get your 50, guys, I'm not doing this just to push sales because we've got sales. If you want that 50, you got to get your order in now. Absolutely. If the 40s are doing well, those are pretty much a quicker turnaround time than than, than the 50s. Uh -huh. so. Absolutely. And they're, yeah, they're flying, so get those now. Sid Thiessen oh. sent in. Uh, get to work. Hey, Sid, <laughs> don't worry about what I do. Amber, I don't know if he heard you or not. Oh, tell him but, I said hi. Hey, oh. Amber, Sid, Amber said to say hello, and why don't you get to work? It's probably lunchtime where you're at in the yeah, Florida right? coast there. Oh, yeah. Out in Florida. How's, how's the weather out there? Yes, yeah, I'm sure it's probably rain. hot and muggy. Muggy. Sid's yep. one of our big dealers in Florida that okay. does uh, a lot excellent. of stuff for Mud Buddy and Excel. So. Oh, excellent. And takes so, care of our customers when we send them Very there. good. Well, thanks for watching, Sid. We appreciate that. Uh, Sid, type in, send us a message right on here and tell us how how fast they're selling for you. So I'm sure you're seeing a lot of that movement with customers as well. So that's got to be exciting. Um, let's see. Nick Smart says loving my hdr 50 pushes my 20 by 60 great good job yeah well, nick, i'm glad a, to hear that yeah <laughs> nick send us some pictures we'd love to see you uh, with that 50 because that's a that's a sweet motor we really love that 
Um, let's see. Walker says, let me get one. You, you need to get one. You call, get up, one uh, call up Clint. Uh, check your uh, local dealer. How do we how do we find out about a dealer in their area? Okay, so um, local dealers, dealer in your area, you can either go to the website or you can stay on Facebook and there are uh, there's a dealer locator. Tell you where you just put in your zip code and it will show you where your closest dealer is. Um, so right on Facebook, just right down here in the corner, um, it will say dealer and you can you can find it there. So kind of handy little tool for yeah, us. Yeah, kind of handy little tool. Do you know an Andy Johnston? Andy boat Johnson, doctor. that's the boat doctor. All right, Andy, my friend, Andy, my friend, he says, if y'all gonna do a photo shoot, y'all need some better looking models. Thanks, Andy. Andy, come on, man. I'm as pretty as they get in this industry. <laughs> Just kidding. That's funny. Just kidding. I guess Jay Paul would maybe be the prettiest we get in this industry. He's, he's much better than us. Let's see. Mason, how much longer will the 37 be the 37 be available for us Arkansas guys that have a horsepower limit? Um, good question. I, I don't have a time frame. I'm really not sure. Um, something we can check out. Um, talk to the general manager, Bill. Yeah. When we get back to the shop, post it on Facebook, and we can answer that question uh, absolutely. when we get back. So yep. It's available right now. How much longer? Honestly, Jeff, I don't know. I, I really don't know either. I've not, I've not heard a time limit on that. Um, but definitely give us a call. We'll try and post that up as well. But always give us a call, and we can get that information for you for sure. Um, Richard Pennington. Hey, Richard. Always a nice day being out on the water. It's so true. It is warm. This is, why, this is why I do it, is so that I can come out here and say that I'm working. This Which I work? am working. This is working this for me. Work. I am I am literally working right now. I'm working hard. I'm sweating. <laughs> it's it's hot. getting hot out here today. It's really excellent. Um, let me think. What else is? Um, what else has been important? Really been going on? Oh, it's Shark Week. Shark Week. Yes, I was gonna say. Now, I hope you all saw that picture I I posted because you know it's a real danger being out here with these mud buddies. Those sharks. I don't care if you're in freshwater or wherever. Those sharks. They'll get you, man. Not in your mud buddy though. But not You're in always your mud ahead. Buddy. Always ahead. <laughs> always getting away from them. Uh, but it is Shark Week, and for those of you following us on XL Boats as well, uh, J. Paul Jackson, our good our good friend and and uh, uh, pro staffer, he um, was out on Mobile Bay uh, just uh, this whole last week. He's been posting tons of videos, and he caught a shark. They were out doing some shark fishing. Cool. And they were successful. They had a really great great little video there. You can see him catch that. Well, now we're heading into the sun, and it's getting brighter. I know, brighter. so now That's I should put my sunglasses on so I can <laughs> squint. I'm going to have a headache. Um, awesome. So keep those questions coming. Uh, we're going to be on for just a few more minutes. Otherwise, we got to get back to the fishing. Um, we're going to, I mean, we don't want to get skunked today. I would really like to at least catch something before we before we go. Catch but, a sunburn, maybe. Yeah, Holy right? cow. I know. Um, and I kind of want to try and get back back into that river just a little bit see if we can't find something but uh thanks everybody for watching i guess we will uh end it here since i don't have any more questions coming up uh, but keep posting these questions we'll hit them up later as they as they come um keep an eye on us we might do another live a little bit later on in the day um but yeah thanks everybody for watching have a great week we'll be on what two weeks two weeks we'll be back two weeks and then we're going to be into august so we will start up doing every week in september um, that's when we'll really get back into this every week once once we get a little bit closer. Start to gearing season. up for the season. Yeah. Looks like we already are with all the geese that we're hearing oh, today. Man, man, it's been beautiful watching them lock up and glide in and just wish you had your shotgun. I know. We have to we'll go. wait. I know. We'll wait. Yeah. Patiently. Patiently. Very <laughs> patiently. But that's going to be excellent. But like he said, definitely get your motors, get your boats all set up because we're, we're hopping. We're busy. And really, it's, it's all because of you. And we, you know, I was talking with our general manager, and we're just all so grateful uh, for all of you for watching with us and sticking with us. And, and really, it's, it's all because of you. We, we're having an incredible year. Our sales are just, it is so fun to watch them just whip these motors out as fast as they possibly can and it's still not fast enough. and it's still not fast enough and we just really appreciate it and it's all because of you and we couldn't do it without the incredible uh, base that we have and amen and so so thank you thank you everybody for sticking with us and being part of the mud buddy family because you're you're great you're amazing so uh we're gonna we're gonna cut it off here um Let's see, Richard, have fun, stay safe. Shout out from Texas, from Joseph. Hey, Joseph, in Texas. Everybody have a great day. Be safe out there and uh, stay tuned. We might have more coming up later.
Hey, we want to say thanks to our good friend Ambry for oh, running yes. the Camry. Ambry is running the camera. <laughs> He's standing in the heat. I know. Where's the craft services table? Oh, Enrique, shout out from the shop. Where the real magic happens, dreams are being built. Hey, way to go, Ricky. Get back to work, Ricky. Yeah. I don't know if you have time. You do not have time to stop and be watching this. Get back to work. Get back to work. Build just, those transmissions. Just, just like me. Get back to work. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. All right, we'll see you.